<laughs> well, that's so your voice changed. You're in Australia. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about that. Like, I'm, I've got a 15 year old son, so I can absolutely think about that. Him going away for five, for six months. First of all, I'm thinking about him trying to raise two grand. <laughs> <laughs> he just asked Dad. <laughs> hey, actually, he's much better than his sister, but that's another story. But uh, yeah, so you're gone for the six months. Your voice changes, and you come back and you decide you want to be in radio? Well, and in between, my parents moved from Grand Prairie to Winnipeg. Oh, okay. And uh, I'd been doing a little bit of work uh, in While the, you were gone? I, I, <laughs> Nicola, believe me, I get this telegram, I get this telegram, because uh, there's no internet, right? Of course. I mean, right. It's, this is 1976, yeah. Yeah. and there's no, there's no internet. And we had arranged for mail stops at general delivery in different cities at different times in our itinerary. So I get to uh, Sydney around Christmas time, and there's a telegram waiting for me that says, Oh, um, <laughs> you were going to come home in February? Uh, we're moving to Winnipeg in two weeks, yeah. so mm, either meet us there or get home. How do you want us to get your car to Winnipeg? So I, I came home, <laughs> got the car, loaded up in the truck, and, and, and moved everything to Winnipeg. When your parents stop writing you back, that's, yeah, I know, that's right. When the check bounces, <laughs> that's right. You go home and the people right. open the door. Right. Uh, yeah, you don't live here anymore. You don't so. live here anymore. kind of like me. Ra raise your hand if you got luggage for a graduation <laughs> gift. And it was packed. And it was packed, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's, yeah. that's, that's fun. So Winnipeg, that's the TSN turning point. Yeah, who would have thought? I got to Winnipeg and I uh, ran the radio station, uh, started the radio station at the high school. Okay. And then ended up uh, going to Ryerson in Toronto for uh, three years. Because Smart of the, move. Because of the voice. Uh, it was a great place to go to school. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like, like Nicola uh, and people in theater, uh, people at Ryerson at that time uh, were all very creative people. Of, of different descriptions and different skills, and uh, we had great uh, access to people. Uh, I mean, the first thing that they, the first assignment they gave us, I think I was 18. Yeah, I think it was 18. And the first assignment they gave you was think of somebody you always wanted to interview and go interview them. And I mean, you'd never interviewed anybody before. You're no. an 18 year old college kid, and you think, well, who can I? Interview? I called Foster Hewitt. Wow. And he said, yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll give you 10 minutes. So uh, in those days, you, we had reel-to-reel -reel portable tape recorders that weighed about 30 pounds. This is called a radio, in radio, this is called a hook. Because <laughs> we've got to go to the 530 News. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We have to come back to find out what an 18-year-old asked the legendary Foster Hewitt. And just the news, I just wanted to say really quickly, with you with those headphones on, I'm having like flashbacks of like 22 or 3 years ago when I just started at Kissing Country as a fat farm boy and you were, well, you were... The same size you are now, but but you were doing the news short and dumpy. And yeah. I, I was looking across the window at you. I'm, I'm having flashbacks, Nicholas. So you'll understand why I weep a little bit here because I'm remembering the days gone by. We'll get to the 5:30 news. We'll get back to it with these two great guests on the sheet show in a moment.